Hey guys, today we're going to be reacting to Christian says Jesus performed a miracle. Doesn't he is a son? Okay, doesn't it mean he's a son of God by Dr. Zaki? Like Carter. Guys, let's go straight into this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe, believing beings. And press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Hello, sir. Uh, while your son was speaking here, a question came to my mind. He was telling about the similarities between Moses and Muhammad, that there are many more similarities between them, such as being born in a natural way, uh, have died uh, for a natural cause, and have raised family. And there are many more similarities between these two, uh, this, um, Moses and Mohammed, than Moses and uh, Jesus. Because Jesus was not uh, born in a natural way, he was not uh, died in a uh, natural cause, okay? So uh, aren't these similarities or uh, proofs that Jesus was in fact the son of God or more than a prophet? Will I ask you a question based on the speech of my son? Yeah. Guys, to be honest, I wish I could hug him right now. Like, he, he just said every time. <laughs> I, I don't know how to put this, but Jesus is more than a prophet. Like, he is more than a prophet. <sighs> right, let's, let's continue. Brother, if you know the context, what my son was quoting is a prophecy in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, which says, which says that I shall raise thee up a prophet. Almighty God is telling Moses, peace be upon him. I shall raise thee up a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall command all that I say. So here, the Christian missionaries say that this prophecy refers to Jesus, peace be upon him. So we are defending and saying this prophecy does not refer to Jesus, peace be upon him, because Jesus was not a brethren of Moses, peace be upon him. Jesus was a Jew, peace be upon him. Moses was a Jew. For a brethren, you have to be children of the brothers, cousins. So the Arabs are cousins of Jews. So Prophet Muhammad was a brethren of Moses, peace be upon him. It should be like Moses, and you rightly said, Moses had a natural birth, Muhammad had a natural birth, peace be upon them. Jesus Christ had an unnatural birth. Moses, peace be upon him, died a natural death. Muhammad died a natural death, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ did not, peace be upon him. So he's unlike, doesn't make him God. It does not make him fulfill the prophecy. But do you, do you understand? Believe, does, Muslim, uh, does Islam uh, believe about the miracles that Jesus performed. Of course such, we believe. Such as walking on uh, water, such as healing a uh, sick person. Many, not all. Walking on water is not mentioned in the Quran, but I told you in my talk, we believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was the Messiah translated Christ. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. We believe that. Yes, but uh, uh, these miracles, you were telling me that they are not on your Quran, but they are in the Bible. So no, they are in the Quran. This is in the Quran, what I told you. No, what I told you about walking on... Uh, on uh, Are which water. is a bigger miracle? Giving life to the dead is bigger miracle or walking on the earth is bigger miracle? On the water, which is bigger? It's written there. No, which is bigger miracle? Giving life to the dead is a bigger miracle or walking on the water is a bigger miracle? Which is a bigger miracle? Sorry? Which is a bigger miracle? A giving life to the dead or walking on the water? Giving life to the dead. When I, when I believe in the bigger miracle, why are you running after the small miracle? I don't understand the logic. I believe, but I always said, all these miracles are done with the permission of God. The miracle does not make you a prophet of God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 24, verse number 24, for there are many false Christ and false prophets who will come and will deceive the very elect. So miracle is not the test. All these miracles were done by Almighty God. That does not make Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, God. If Moses parted the sea, does that make Moses God? Does that make Moses God? Not more than God, but his son. 
Moses is the son of God. Yeah. Where does Jesus. it say in the Bible? From Jesus. He was son of God. Moses was son of God? No, Moses no, he was a prophet. Moses parted the sea. Does it make him God? <clears throat> Adam, peace be upon him, was Moses was born without a father, correct? Adam was born without father and mother. Does it make him God? No. This is a miracle. If you say Jesus is God because he had no father, Adam is a bigger God, peace be upon him. He had no mother and no father. All this is not the test. Do you understand? These are miracles done by the prophets of God, done by God, <coughs> to prove that they are messengers. Right or wrong? Then you have to say Adam is a bigger God. Right or wrong? Do you believe Adam is a bigger God? Uh, sorry? Do you believe Adam is God? Adam? Is God? No. Even I don't believe. Peace be upon him. <laughs> Just because he did a miracle, that does not make him God. Why? That's the reason they were all messengers of God. But not God. Okay, thank you. Good. So now you believe Jesus is a messenger of God? Both uh, mm -hmm. messenger of God and son of God. No, son of God again, I told you. Son of God, God has got son by the son. Ephraim is son of God. Israel is son of God. As many are led by the spirit of God, the sons of God. God has got son by the tons in the Bible. But none of them, the previous prophets, uh, they are mentioned in the Bible as having come from the, uh, from the paradise, as Jesus was. Such, such as uh, John 6, 23. That he was, he came, uh, he came before so, Adam. So, so he, all the other prophets came from hell? No, Jesus was existing before Adam. That's what we, uh, we believe. Everyone in, in the Bible, it says, everyone was present in the plan of God before they came. Even no, you were present in existing. Even you were existing, even I was existing. Correct? That does not make you and me God. Everyone was existing in the plan of God. That's what the Bible says. Everyone was existing in the plan of God before we came in this world. That does not make you and me God. Existing in his plan, not in reality. He was already existing with God. That's Where does it say? Give me the reference. John uh, 6, 23 and... What does it say? Mm. What does it say? What does John chapter 16, verse 23 say? Tell me. That he, he came from God. That's why he... He, he came from God. Time. Everyone came from God. Even you and I came from God. But he came from... Uh, we didn't come... I mean, from the heaven, you know. So he came, came from, from hell. Heaven. No, 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 no. You came from hell? But we, came, we are humans. We are human. All of us are creations of Almighty God. There's not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God of Isis worship me. You point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says, I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. But he says he was son. He says with his words, he was son. He said. Are, you are, I think you don't understand yeah. English. Ephraim is son of son. God. Abraham is son of God. Does that make them God? But some, they had, I mean, they had a natural mother and father. Adam had he natural mother have, and father. He didn't have, but Jesus existed before him. Adam was son of God is mentioned in the Bible. What are you going to do? No, but he didn't say it. Who didn't say it? He didn't say it. What he didn't Adam, say? Adam didn't say it, you know. But what Jesus, he did not Bible say? Bible is written that, that he came. That what you're talking, there is not a single unequivocal statement. Do you understand English, brother? Yeah. Which country do you come from? Huh? Which country do you come from? Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. There is not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. Anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, I am God, three words, or where he says, worship me, two words. You point out anywhere in the Bible, I am ready to accept Christianity. You are beating around the bush, son of God. Many people are son of God. You are beating around the bush. You are beating around the bush. Did you hear my I, I got challenge? You, I got you. I got you yes. My challenge is unequivocal statement. You got it? Yeah. Unambiguous. I I am God. How many words? Three words. Worship me. Two words. I accept Christian. Guys, you know what? Let's, let's just finish it. Let's just finish it. Okay. Nowhere in the Bible. All this, what you're saying, is beating around the bush, which has been sent to many other people also. 
You understand? Yeah. So I want to go and study the Bible, do research, and come to the truth. Thank you. You're most welcome. Guys, <laughs> you know that if, if I start talking now, it's going to be like, ah, this boy is saying a lot, but, but let's do this, let's do this. I'm, I'm going to come for my brother, like, I'm, I'm going to support him. You know, I said I, I felt like giving him a hug, but I told him I'm making research, and, okay. You know that Jesus never said, okay, give me a word in the Quran where Jesus said he is the Messiah or he is the Spirit of God. Uh, yeah, Jesus never said it in the Quran. You see. So it's kind of the same thing. You're saying Jesus never said he's God. Jesus never said he is the Messiah in the Quran or he is in... I don't know if he says the Messiah, but I know he never said he is the Messiah or he's the Spirit of God or he is the Word of God. Jesus never said that in the Quran. So you coming after us like this. I told you, like, I said this in my former video. Christianity is not where, like, a glass house. Like, if you stole me, I stole you. Like, it's, it's like that. So you can't actually come after me like that. But if you're saying that Adam was not, Adam was born to if Adam a mother, Adam was created by God. It was the, I don't feel that logic actually makes sense because Adam was the creation of human. Like he was the creation. So you can't actually use the creation with the miracle that happened like years after when Jesus came without the Father to the Virgin. Like if it's, if that isn't unique or it doesn't count for anything, I feel people could have been coming like that. But Jesus is the only one that came like that. Then you will not say, but well, Adam came without the Father. Yes, he he was the starting of creation. And if you read, Adam was created, God gave him life. But Jesus said he was there even before Abraham. So like, if you read it, he didn't mean he was in, he was in life or like he was waiting even from the way he um, exactly like explained it that he was everyone would have been there like God planned everything but he said he was there like he was present even before Abraham so like it's two different things and what did he say again what did he say again I forgot it. but like you get my point like Jesus is indeed more than a prophet but if you say Jesus is a Messiah, like Google the meaning of Messiah, like, like just Google the meaning of Messiah. I'm 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 done shouting this in my channel. Like, Google the meaning of Messiah and see the meaning. And you see Jesus is actually more than a prophet. Okay, I'll say Jesus was many things. Jesus was a prophet. He was a messenger. He was the Messiah. He was the Son of God. Yes, but like. I said son of God. So no one should come to my comment section and say, you said Jesus is God. I said son of God. Yes, he was the son of God. He, no, no, he was. He is. He still is. He is the son of God and he is the Messiah. And guys, see you in my comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Please.